Hello, ladies and gentlemen, to the Sharpest Hammers of the Little Shed. My name is Danny. And I am Tim. So this game is my crack. Yeah. I don't smoke, don't drink, what do you do? I play Civilization V. <laughs> yeah, it's. I feel like it's tearing his family apart as I have to sit here and just watch Daniel do this. You know, this. my mom once came in and, and she was like, Daniel, dinner's ready. And I said, shut up, I'm about to kill Gandhi. <laughs> Uh, wow. Those um, of you who have played this game, Gandhi is, like, worse than Hitler. <laughs> he is a purveyor of the most nuclear destructive bullshit ever. He is he rushes the nuclear bomb and then drops it everywhere. <laughs> everywhere. Everywhere. I need Mad Maddox. I was, just, I was just about to do another reference that I just decided not to, because I've done enough of those recently. Yes. Yes, you have. Yes, you have, Tim. What if... Do you hear the lambs in... Oh, no, 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 no. Hi, guy. Hi, fat dude. I like uh, you. I like you a lot. I sure, but I like you a lot, and because I like you, we're gonna have... Actually, I should I should consult my uh, my foreign advisor. Foreign he reminds advisor. me of Gerard Khalil, the Khalil completionist. He seems legit to me. Seems legit to me. He's the beardy man. The beardy man. <laughs> I should have given him a gold, too. Uh, Just been like, here. Bing! <laughs> hey, someone built a statue. By the juice. way, watch Gerard Carrillo, the completionist. He's on normal boots, and being he's on normal boots, more people are going to see that than are going to see this, so. You know. Because that's the site with Jontron. I had to let that one out. <laughs> so, uh, we've said this before, what? but, uh, hey, Jontron, Tim would like to meet you. I would, and now that you live in New York, that's more of a possibility. But... Yeah, I don't think he's the kind of guy that works with other people. He will literally give you a hand job. <laughs> Where he said that about you? What am I supposed to do? Have Aaron in one hand and John in the other and hope they kiss? I mean, you could actually have them be tip to tip so that with one <laughs> hand you could go backward and forward. And then with the um, other hand, I'm reassessing my life. <laughs> Dude, you'd be counting your dollars because you can sell that video for a mint. Alright, so Tim, we have some Listen, choices I have to make. some ethics. Personal collection. <laughs> All right. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so Tim, we have some options. It's been a long time since we've recorded, so we're pretty fresh right now. <laughs> yes, sir. All right. So, we have unlocked patronage, which we are not going to get. Okay. Aesthetics, which generates more culture. Okay. Commerce, which is money, money, money. Right. And exploration, which is exploration. Yeah, yeah. Um, I would rush rationalism, but we can't get that yet. Okay. Um, so which of these sounds like the direct... Or should we finish out the honor tree? Uh, what do we have to gain from finishing out honor? Um, you will get more money every time you kill a unit. Mm-hmm. And considering barbarians have been fucking swarming us, I'm pretty but, sure that's... But, hold on. Split. Okay. The, I, I love your logic. Okay. But I gotta tell you. Okay. It's gonna be a while before we finish the honor tree, and by then, I hope to have most of the... The, um, barbarians fucking... Yeah. Uh, oh my I'm, god. I'm sorry. sorry! I'm sorry! I sometimes... Oh my god, sometimes he just Hitlers. It's just, I don't... It's it's a disease. Uh, but the I mean... tight. <laughs> wow, that was a really tasteless joke. On behalf of myself... The best part is, it was like... It was like 90% me. <laughs> Alright. I think... We should go for commerce okay. because money is good. Uh, I, I guess our honor would balance out the commerce. I just don't want us to be too much like America. If you know what I'm saying. We're going for money. Okay, let's do it. I mean, wouldn't focusing on military be more American? Um, well, considering it's under honor and not under let's go get their oil, I mean. <laughs> hey! The people of the United States of America welcome you. I don't... What, did George Washington sounds like an amalgamation of W and Bill Clinton? Eh, a little roll. <laughs> <laughs> which... Which W? What do you mean, which W? There's one W, and then there's Herbert Walker. Really? Yeah. Oh, I thought they had the same exact name, because one no, was junior, one was, one called, was junior. No, yeah, one was called W, because his middle name well, was Walker, I think. Hmm. No. George, I don't know what W stands for. I'm going to admit it right now where I'm a stupid American that doesn't know his own fucking politics. But I know Senior is Herbert Walker Bush. Oh. H.W. And then Junior's just W. 
Well, probably Walker. Let's err on the side of I don't give a shit. <laughs> I, I like that one. <laughs> Let's err on the side of who the fuck cares. Exactly. <laughs> fuck it. Uh, He's not our president anymore. And he never will be. Well, he can't be. He served two terms. Exactly. No, he didn't, did you he? can serve two and a half terms, by the way. Well, yeah, but that's only if you get... If he became a vice president, yeah. he could serve another half term. The idea of that horrifies you, doesn't it? I, 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 I just, I'm yeah, mad. we did reelect that douchebag, didn't we? I do remember it. Well, he technically lost the election. But... He, no, he didn't. He lost the popular vote. No, 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 no. They hid the ballots in Florida. Um, the ballots were being destroyed long before they were supposed to be. Like this was a thing. Um, they were being destroyed by. Um, canvassers for the uh the republican party yeah um the 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 votes for the other guy were being destroyed Hmm. um so yeah he straight up lost wow um i'm not even like i'm not even being like i'm a i'm a douchey liberal asshole and we should have won i'm like no no like we know he that election was stolen as fuck so essentially the cartoon character version of the republicans and conservatives that we're seeing these days were seeded from then and just kind of grew. Into uh, they, the... they weren't seated then. They've been there for a long time. I but... do not remember them being as comically evil as they are now. Well, I mean, they've been Oklahoma. growing. But they only seem comically evil now because they weren't that evil then. <laughs> but it's been, it's been a slow grow. I've said a lot of things in regards to this. And I didn't really want to talk about it on the show. But I'm just going to say this. But what better place for politics than... I know, like a video game show. All I want to say is... I don't really find myself having a political affiliation to either for the simple fact that Democrats act like old school Republicans and Republicans are currently like super soldier crazy fucking wire mustache Republicans. So I don't really know where my allegiance lies anymore. I, yeah. <laughs> Something that always blows my mind when I get reminded of it, fucking Lincoln was a Republican. Yeah. Like, just to show you how times have changed. Well, see, modern-day Republicans aren't Republican. uh, Aren't the Republicans of then. I know. They were, I believe, what is considered modern-day Republicans were once the Whig Party, maybe? Uh, they may have been the Hawks. I did a lot of research on this, and I don't remember any of it. It was for a video that never came out, because there's just so much. I feel like modern-day Republicans were the Hawks, but I could be wrong. Yeah. Um, because it was the Hawks and the Whigs. I know that much. Right. Um, but I don't remember which one became which. Mm, let's have... We're not going to Wikipedia this, by the way. This is... If you really care about this, do your own homework on it. Like, comment, this and subscribe. This one, we only, we <laughs> only fact check when we are disagreeing. Yeah, it's... Like, this was a video I wanted to do when I was living in a totally different... It was like two years ago. Did two you... years ago, a 4th of July video. Was, there's just so much... In fact, like, looking at the way... Things are going right now in this country. It really would help an awful lot that even if you're not a history person, you really... I'm a student of history! Go ahead. (laughs) You really need to look into why America is. What what was leading up to America being what it is, or what it was, whenever they were first establishing America. Because it is disgusting to look at, you know, look, look at people now and they're general empathy towards life and, you know, just the lethargic ways of, oh, it's our government. They're there for our best... No. I, I don't think so. Just look into that and you'll know what I'm talking about. I would like to point out, though, I am super, super sick of people my age just saying, oh, America sucks. Because, yeah, there's a lot of shitty things about our government. But our country is actually still pretty sweet. Um, now... Tim is currently staring at me super hard. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm sta- I'm like, I'm literally sitting here slack jawed, waiting for an explanation for this. Cause like I know what he's talking about. We t- it is still the land of the free. I'm not Just, even talking about our freedoms, which kind well because they are currently being eroded at an yeah, Im- alarming irresponsible rate. rate okay you know what i was gonna say this whenever religion was first brought up and i'm just gonna throw this out there and then i'm going to try to never say it again i promise every ideal and every law and everything that the conservatives have been fighting for to put into legislation violates the first amendment that's it 
because it's all supposed to honor their religion. This Hobby Lobby bullshit's bullshit. Oh, the Hobby Lobby. Fuck the Hobby Lobby thing. That's stupid. Hobby Lobby is people who, A, the one side that don't understand what abortion is, and then the people on the other side who don't even know what the fuck is going on. <laughs> it's like, all contraceptive is allowed except for Plan B. And the reason why Plan B isn't allowed, because the fucking Christians apparently think that if you take a pill that negates a possible pregnancy the morning after... It's aborting an actual life! That's like saying not having sex is the same as an abortion. Just for those of you who don't understand. Actually, there are some uh, some people that want to tell you, some religions that want to tell you, that every time a woman ovulates, she is committing murder. I've heard of this, yes. Those people are fucking insane. And here's the best part. It's not fake! I thought it was fake. I thought, who the fuck could possibly be this stupid? And these are probably the same people who are like... Yeah, whenever a woman gets pregnant from a rape, she actually wanted it. Because, see, when a woman gets raped, her body has natural defenses that abort the... that, that stop the he pregnancy. He backtracked that so hard, it was beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, how can you be so goddamn ignorant about something that you're legislating? I wish I wish Michael Jackson been alive, so he could just been like, You're being ignorant. <laughs> Why are you being so ignorant? Oh my god. So, yeah, I mean, that's just pretty much my thought on it, is that Republicans need to back the fuck off about, like, jerking off with the Constitution as lube and then violating it every chance they get. Just saying. I mean, I'm not on board with Affordable Health Care Act either, because I'm one of the people that gets fucked over by that, but fucking, like I said, Democrats are Republicans, and Republicans are super Republicans, that's... <laughs> now, if only everyone could be a liberty... <laughs> 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 oh, I tried. I oh really did. I had a I had a teacher in college who super libertard. Well, that's and now. That's, hold on. Is, is that the one that pissed me off all the time from just secondhand stories? Yes. That you tell me? Yes. Yeah, okay. Yeah. No, like, and guys, I I think the base idea of the Libertarian Party is awesome. Now, I don't necessarily agree with it. I I actually kind of support a slightly larger government, but the idea of Maybe a big government is not great. Yeah. I see no fundamental flaw with this logic. However, as soon as it becomes a hyper-religious, don't you be taking my tax dollars, it gets a little obnoxious. There are literally scouts from America crawling all over my land. That sounds about right, actually. <laughs> oh, Sophia gave me a unit. I like oh. Sophia. We're gonna keep them. Okay. Please tell me we're gonna destroy America. That depends if they pick a fight, Tim. <laughs> and they're America, so yes. They will pick a fight. We pick every fight. Um, Even if it's a fight not worth picking. <laughs> Remember that Guar album, America Must Be Destroyed? Of course you don't. But still. Yeah, I've never You've listened never to a it. single Guar song in my entire life. I just wanted to bring that up because you randomly brought up the illness leading to the death of one of your heroes. Dave Brocky, the singer of Guar, is no more. Oh. I don't know if I've mentioned this in any videos ever, but yeah, it sucks. <laughs> oh. Apparently Mike Bishop is taking up the singer role since he was a former Beefcake the Mighty. Beefcake! Yeah. Beefcake the Mighty is actually, whenever it comes to the characters, he's my favorite character. Just because he's the bass player, and he's a singer, and he's a gladiator, with a gladius. With a gladius. Yeah. Are you glad? And not only that, but one of his major parts in one of the films was a fisting a vagina face boy's face vagina to death. Yeah. That's the thing that happened. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, they're good. Gore movies are good. They're weird. They're fucking, like... Yeah. But <laughs> Gwar stand for something? Uh, it, it's short for... Gwar! So yeah. that's like how Wog is short for... Wog! It's probably a reference to one or the other. I mean, Wog is from 40K. Um, it's what the orcs... It's a religious thing for the orcs. Uh, um, so, yeah. Anyway... So yeah, oh. it's just, uh, yeah, Guar is, Guar is amazing. It's very confusing and very fucked up, but I don't know. They, they stand for a lot of good things. It, it, it's mostly satire. 
I'm sure you've figured out if you've watched anything involved with Guar and actually thought about it for a second. Neat! But, uh... Uh, I guess we'll talk about more of this in the next episode of Sharp Stammers in the Tool Shed. We've covered a lot of information today. We really have. I hope you've learned a lot, because I know I have. Goodbye, everybody.